Escape from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon offer like coaching for all aspects of sport so whether you're you know like if you're a road racer a gravel rider a uh, sportif rider uh, a time trialist a duathlete a runner or you just want to ride for the sake of riding whatever it is then we can build like training around all of that and that's where it, it just becomes like specific to, to each person ultimately so if I'm a road racer then I know that you know, like that race is more ex explosive. So say for example, like my functional reserve capacity is gonna be, uh, have to be a lot higher than, you know, like my, what we call like your time to exhaustion, where if I'm like a, a pure time trialist, then I probably need to have like more time to exhaustion. Uh, you know, and that ultimately means that like this threshold that we're looking at, then you wanna have it for a longer period, rather than if I'm a more explosive athlete, then you've gotta train for those demands. Same for like triathlon, it's just like the hardest part of triathlon is like just the amount of training that you need to do. And you've got like all these weaknesses and strengths and then you're trying to combine them. And then what's the biggest factor that most people have got is restriction on time, isn't it? You know, like we just haven't got enough hours in the day. If I'm not, you know, if I'm not a professional and I've got my family, then I've got this restriction on like time. So it might just be that I don't know, you've got to give one in more area to ultimately get that combination over the length of the training specific and I can get stronger that way. What we're generally seeing now is like sporty riding, gravel riding is becoming like a big thing now, isn't it? A lot of those events and it, it's about like going out there having fun, but we still want to train for the demands and the events that we're, you know, like that we're looking toward. And sometimes that, all that might be is that it might be like, I want to lose weight, I want to get fitter. And we, we get that like all of the time. I want to ride like 100 miles is like a great one that we always get asked. And we can do that feedback from my like car coaches. Uh, what we generally work best is like, obviously it is like, like power is like a big part for, you know, like, say like the top end of the sport, but not everybody's got that. But we can train, like we definitely need to train with heart rate really. I think that's that's quite important because we can just see like trends in heart rate and combining like power and heart rate is like a really good one. But obviously the expense of the power meet is, yeah, it, it's quite expensive. Heart rate, we can train people using heart rate, rate like, you know, what we call like the Borg scale or you know, like some people just use like easy, moderate, hard, or I find that it's quite, it's quite sporadic, like I definitely think that you need to, even if you, you're you not training always at, you know, like with power and heart rate, it, it's just giving that feedback that's very important, you know, and then the coach can see like the trends in that. So I think that's a good way to get fit, you know, and that's what we see more and more people about like health and well-being. It's quite a key part now, like getting out on your bike and enjoying it. But then you probably just want, you want accountability, I think that's the big part for us all. Like what's going to make you into a better athlete from today to tomorrow is consistency and accountability. And that's what we can give you.